How's it going everybody? Richard from Kaboom Rex here. i uh, just going to show you a nice little repair video of how to replace a temp sensor, a bad temp sensor, faulty. And also it looks like our capacitor here, our 16 volt, 100 nanofarad capacitor is corroded off. So we might have to run some trace wire on a pad there. Um, if you see, it's a pretty, pretty ugly looking uh, temp sensor there. So let's see what's underneath it. We'll clean it off with a little bit of alcohol. And kind of see what's down there. Oh. Uh -oh. Like all the legs are there. Um, our cat might have some issues though up here. So what I'm going to do is actually pull the temp sensor and that cap off and see what's underneath and what needs to be repaired, replaced, or fixed. got my heat gun set to about 375 degrees Celsius. Seems to be a decent number for us to work off of here. Doesn't really brown the board or black the board too much. Yeah, there's a temp sensor. Grab that capacitor as well. Let's see what's under there. That's the temp sensor there. It looks like I'm missing a couple of eggs. Let's clean it off. So you can see that black glue there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun a little bit and use a little, just a scraping tool, just to scrape all that off. Like all our temp sensor legs are here, which is great. We might be missing a pad. C1449, which. Yeah, it does look like the, oh, the solder pad is missing. Left side of C1449 there. What we're going to have to do, scrape up some of the trace. And run a trace wire down to the top leg of the temp sensor. Cut a small piece of wire off. Oh. Flux down. We're gonna have to add some solder to the exposed trace just so we can get our copper wire down on it. That is down. Bend it. 90 degree angle to bring it straight down where that capacitor. All right. Well, nice and flux down. And we're going to retin all of our temp sensor pads and while we're doing that we're going to attach that trace wire to that top link.
connect that right there. Perfect. Let's clean it off and see how it looks. We'll get that capacitor added. All right, so I got my 16 volt, 100 nanofarad capacitor here. Down. I want to add a little bit of solder to left side of the capacitor, just so I have something to kind of attach it to first before I put the other leg. My 16 volt 100 nanofarad here. Pucks down and attach the left side of it first and then the right side to that traceway. Alright. Next is going to be our temp sensor. LM75A is the part number on this guy. Let's um, flux down. Flux down. And grab my temp sensor. Set it down, and I'm going to attack each leg down individually. Some people like to use a heat gun and shoot it, but since I had to run that trace wire, if I shoot it with a heat gun, it might cause that wire to pop up. show my arc tester here and I'm gonna go test this board there we go 126 a6 all four temp sensors go grab that board and we're gonna put some mastic down and we'll be done with it securing the solder mask right now with a UV light Exposed copper up there. There we go. Now everything is covered. Up. Secures. This board is fixed and ready to go into our data hall for a burn in. Um, and this is Richard at Kaboom Racks. And you know, stay tuned for more videos, repair tips and tricks that we have, and uh, yeah, more content that we're going to be putting out there for you guys to watch. So uh, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, yeah, get hashing.